Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the first bit of transfer activity in the window for Hull City. We've done all of the released players. That's been, that's gone. But we have our first bit of transfer window business today. It's not a signing which we all thought would be done by now. We thought we'd have, excuse me, thought we'd have three in the door this week. But it's Friday and we've not got one. Instead... Uh, we have one who has left. This was first reported on Sunday, I believe. And then it's clearly uh, gone. Well, it's clearly progressed from there. So, young goalkeeper Harvey Cartwright has agreed to join League One side Peterborough United on loan for the 2022-23 season. The statement from Hull City says that exact sentence and then goes on to say the 20-year-old who signed a new long-term deal with Hull City last month, that deal, by the way, takes him up to the summer of 2026 with a one-year option on that deal as well. well. Hang on, no, that takes him up to... Yeah, that's it. It's up to 2026 with the option 2020 to 2027 as well. The well, he'll be hoping to gain further EFL experience under his former boss Grant McCann. Um, the England under 20 international featured twice for the Tigers in the Championship last season, adding to his one EFL trophy appearance on his senior debut in September 2020. Obviously, came off of Matt Ingram at QPR when he got that injury, and then played the following game as well while Ingram was out with concussion. Uh, the highly rated stopper's previous taste of loan life came in non-league with Gainsborough Trinity, where he kept four clean sheets in six outings in about September last time out. Posh will be aiming for promotion after suffering championship relegation last season, despite a late rally under McCann, who won the League One title with Hull, City, with Hull City during his last third tier campaign. We wish Harvey and Peterborough the best of luck for the upcoming season. And of course, we're going to play Peterborough in a friendly uh, on the 23rd of July, that's away at uh, at the Western Homes. We also play Cambridge on the same day. Will I be doing either of those, game, of those games? We'll have to wait and see, but I doubt it. But it's a very interesting move, that. Very, very interesting move for Harvey. Um, I, the way I see it is it's a fantastic move. Harvey Cartwright has said very openly that, you know, he... He just wanted to play football for this next season, whether it be here, whether it be out on loan. He didn't care. He he just wanted to get some regular games. Now, what I see in this move to Peterborough is they need goalkeepers. Christy Pym is going to be let go, as is Di Cornell. Uh, Stephen Bender has gone back from his loan spell and... Grant needs a goalkeeper, and the risk with a goalkeeper is you sign one who your manager and who the fans don't know, there's there's fear of the unknown. But Grant knows Harvey. He's worked with Harvey every day for two and a half years, pretty much. And so he'll know his qualities. He'll know that he's highly rated. He'll know all about him. And can help him fit into that Peterborough environment. And Grant typically likes to have two goalkeepers, two very good goalkeepers, competing for that spot, that number one spot. He had it in his first season here with George Long and he brought Matt Ingram in to supplement. In the second season in League One, he had, because of injury to George Long in the early season, Ingram got a chance to impress, took that and... Bar about COVID, Ingram was number one for that entire season. George Long moved on last summer, and this season, uh, there were well, Grant brought in Nathan Baxter, and Ingram and Baxter pretty much split those games fifty fifty. So I can see Grant bringing another goalie into challenge, Harvey, and but I can see Harvey consistently being Peterborough's number one. What I'll say to Peterborough about Harvey is when I've watched him, he is fantastic, fantastic at, say, at, at, at the basics of goalkeeping. 
Uh, I think his distribution needs a bit of work. But other than that, you know, long kicks and stuff like that. But other than that, he's completely fine. He's a sound guy. And England under-20 international played for England under-18s, under-20s. And he's just got a new long-term deal here. He's going to be our number one one day, guaranteed. And what this confirms for us is that we are definitely, definitely on the hunt for another goalie. Nathan Baxter's rumoured we're making that work behind the scenes by the looks of things. We're working that out behind the scenes. Mm, well, Chelsea still don't know what's going on with Kepa yet and Nathan Baxter might well be needed. Uh, but I want him here. I want him here. Um, whether that be on loan or whether that be permanently. But Harvey is the future of this football club in between the sticks. And I'm really looking forward to to seeing what he can offer Peterborough. I'll be watching Peterborough a lot more closely than I will than I otherwise would do because Harvey's there. Um, there's the picture of Grant and Harvey shaking hands, familiar faces, familiar faces. Um, well, Cartwright's said to Peterborough, uh, well, first of all, Grant has said, uh, I'm delighted to bring Harvey to the football club on a season-long loan deal. He's a young goalkeeper with huge potential who, under the stewardship of Barry Richardson, has been improving year on year. He's an England under-20 international and I'm really pleased that Barry and Hull City trust us in developing Harvey further with his development. He is commanding, good at coming for crosses, good in 1v1 situations and in very brave. And most importantly, he has great temperament and great character. Harvey Cartwright said, uh, I'm absolutely delighted at the opportunity to join Peterborough on loan. It's the best move for my career at this moment in time. And what better way to start than in League One under the gaffer that I work with at Hull City. It caps off a really good close season for me. Signed alongside, I signed a long-term deal at Hull and then it was about that next step. I think the two and two went well together. The new contract gives me the license to go out on loan. I'm absolutely buzzing to work with the gaffer again and can't wait to get started. So that's Harvey Cartwright. That is Harvey Cartwright at Peterborough United. Um, I'm pleased for the I'm pleased for the guy. He'll smash it there. And yeah, if you look at Peterborough's goalkeeping ranks, um, they've only got Christy Pym at the moment, and he's going to be let go. Darren McAntony made it very clear last season he didn't want Christy Pym around anymore. Uh, Grant McCann seems to have stuck to that agreement since he's come in, replacing Darren, uh, replacing Darren Ferguson. Um, just as a reference, the goalie coach at Peterborough is a guy called Mark Tyler, who did actually play for Hull City um, in two thousand and seven or eight. He was on loan with us for a little bit, didn't make an appearance. But he spent a lot of his career with Peterborough. Spent a hell of a lot of his career with Peterborough, actually. And, well, yeah. He's got, he's got a goalie coach who used to play for City. What's not to love about that? Uh, right, uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, good luck to Harvey. And I've dragged this on to eight minutes. God, I can put me wrong. <laughs> anyway. Thank you for watching. See you later. Take care. Goodbye.